what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be reading posts from some people that we may have a feeling about. Okay, so this first one is Okay fellas, women want to be left alone so badly it seems. So if you, if you see a woman struggling with groceries, just keep walking. Don't even offer to help. If she gets into a big argument with her ex, don't go over there to save her or coddle her. Just leave them alone, period. Don't smile or say good morning or good afternoon to them. Alright, so... There's so there, extreme. The, the, there's a difference between being a, a normal person and being... Um, this type of person? Right. It's like, women want to be left alone when you're being creepy and rude to them, which is mainly what's going on. It's They appreciate if you help with the groceries. They appreciate if you're friends and she's upset about her ex and you help her. Like, they appreciate those things. That's not what they're saying. They're saying when you're, like, messaging them constantly and they're like, hey, I need space, and then getting blown up on and that kind of stuff that they want to be left alone. Yeah, this post is, I the way I'm taking this post is more on the aspect of you, I, you, you, I've never met you before, and I see you struggling, but because I don't automatically get into your good graces, which could potentially go into something else, why should I even bother? Yeah, I guess. Like, if I'm nice to you, then I better get the goods. Yeah, that's, that's kind of how I'm taking this. Alright. Any, anything else on this one? No. Alright, let's go to the next one. <laughs> Alright. So, th th this post is about somebody asking for advice. On, obviously, a public forum. Um, so, this one is, question one, my baby mama is always counting my money. She I work part-time, she got two jobs, but she always expects me to go half on rent and cable. She was handling these bills before I moved in. Why is she trying to gold dig now? For three months, I didn't pay rent. I kept my money, saved it for my 23rd birthday. I spent my birthday in a strip club, bottle service, VIP lap dances. I treated my boys and I spent $2,000. We posted snaps and I didn't care if she saw them. It was my night. Ugh. Let's, do you want to just stop here and let's unpack no, no. that? Okay. No, let's keep going. I came home two days later. Her father and uncle pulled up and asked if I had rent. I told them no. Her father then said, well, you must be paying rent somewhere. You need to go there. They packed and moved my stuff out of the house illegally and threatened me if I returned. I'm couch surfing, but technically homeless, and my baby mama won't let me spend time with my son. She's too old for this daddy's girl routine. My kid needs to see their father in the home. How to make her see that I'm the best man she's going to get, and she better take me back. Ha! <laughs> you can do better. You're going to spend 2k for your birthday at a strip club, like, when you're... You're calling her your baby mama, but I feel like you guys were at least together before this. Like, did you ever think that maybe she's not comfortable with that? Like, I know it's your birthday and you want to do what you want to do, but, like, if you're in a relationship with someone, you should probably make sure what everybody's comfortable with. And, like, if you're Snapchatting and you're showing all this money that she maybe didn't know you had and she was maybe even struggling with her two jobs and then she found out you had money... I would get why she'd be kind of mad about that. Exactly, yeah. She has two jobs, and she, he only works part-time. And all the money that he saved... I mean, there might have been a, a multitude of reasons oh. why he she wasn't asking for any sort of kickback mm -hmm. uh, outside of, take let's take care of the our children. But then he went and blew the 2K yeah. right, at a strip club. And yeah. then, let's, let's also talk about the aspect that he posted that I didn't care that if she saw them. It it's kind of sounds. It kind of sounds like it was done without her permission. Well, that's what I said. Like it's not like fully permission. It might have been done without like 
talking about like a relationship and everybody's comfortable you know yeah, yeah, like yeah, that yeah, yeah. I, I'm exactly that. permission right, but right, like right. that also um even if you guys could figure something out if you can't go half and half maybe then you buy the groceries and she deals with other stuff or you pay electricity and water and she gets the rest of the stuff she probably would be willing to you know understand that you make less so you only pay certain bills and those are your bills she'd probably be pretty chill about that but instead all you did was go on snapchat blow 2k and then like get upset that she was upset no exactly and apparently her parents sided with her so well yeah i feel like a lot of people are like He's also 23, though, so that's well, really, really an immature time. So I feel like by the time he's, you know, older, he's going to look back and be like, oh, well, yeah, that was dumb. But, the thought, but at the time right now, the, he's like let's just, selfish. Let's just flip the script real quick. How would he feel if, she, if he was working two jobs, she only had a part-time job, and she did that same thing? Oh, yeah, it'd be... What, how do you think... But it's not okay then because she's a lady. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, aside from the aspect of um, gender and who's doing what, how would he feel if she was doing that? Oh, yeah, that? I know, I you know. know. It's, so, like I said, it's that immature. Yeah. All right. Next. Anything else on this one? Nah. All right, next one. All right, this one. I've seen this one. Okay. So, the... I hate this one. Ugh. All right. So, another one to unpack, which will be a lot of the ones that we do. Uh, but for the final one, we are going to be doing... Uh, my wife and I have implemented a system that makes it difficult for me to cheat. She sat me down and asked me why I cheat. I was very honest with her, and she came up with a very good system. Instead of me going to look for a variety outside, she became my variety. Here's how it goes. Monday she be on Monday she behaves like a work side chick. Since I work from home, she comes to my desk and we do quick hugs here and there. We make jokes about our imaginary spouses. On Tuesday, she knows I used to visit the commercial ladies on Tuesdays, so she dresses up as one of those ladies, lady and I pay the, night. the lady of the night, <laughs> and I pay her for hugging. Hugging. <laughs> Wednesdays, she's my girlfriend here. We do things that we used to do when we were still boy, boy fee and girl fee. Ugh, I hate that. <laughs> boy fee. Ugh. Thursday, she becomes my sugar mama. I complain about petrol money and stuff, and she comes through for me. I thank her with a couple of hugs. <laughs> Friday, she becomes Ellie two thousand. She wears my clothing and puts her feet on the dashboard while playing Ami Piano in my polo. We hug in this car. <laughs> we hug in the car. <laughs> in the car. <laughs> in the car. Saturday, she goes to the grove. Mm. Oh, God. Saturday, she goes to the groove. I rock up around 2,200 hours, and I offer to buy her drinks. When the groove closes... I go home with her for wild hugs. Sunday, she beh behaves like my wife. We discuss budget, kids, and other important stuff. At night, she wears an ANC t-shirt and complains about headache and s sleep while I'm busy chatting with other girls on WhatsApp. He's still cheating! <laughs> He's still cheating! Okay, well, well, let's, look, let's just go to the beginning about the aspect of nah, him girl leaving. originally, like... She, okay, so they have kids. Yeah. And she stays with him, even though she knowingly, it, it, even though he knowing. Because, he, just let me talk. Just take a minute. So basically, she knows he's cheating. And instead of leaving, she's like, all right, how can we make him stop cheating instead of leaving like she should? And they have this whole thing, which is just wild honestly like I guess 
If it works for you guys, it works for you guys. But still, in the end, he is still cheating on her with girls on WhatsApp. Because even if it's just chatting and like that kind of stuff, it's pretty obvious what he's doing. He's flirting. He's probably sending, you know, stuff that he shouldn't be. See, he's still cheating. So even though she's doing all of this, she's still cheating. But he's still cheating on her. Right. I mean, I don't know that there's... Like, like you said, I don't know their, um, their setup. They might this might be fine with them and she might like she might I'll, like they might have a understanding about hey i'm i want to stay with you but i still want to be with other people yeah. and whatnot and then she might be like okay well after a while and she might be like why do you feel that you have to do this all the time i get like because, like, the thing is, people spice up their lives, they're hugging, like this type of thing. They do this type of whatever all the time. But, like, in the end, like, he's still cheating because mm -hmm. he's still, like, doing it. So, like, even though all this work was put in, it's not working. Yeah, she, saw, she found a solution. Also, I've... I have no idea what Friday means. We don't understand Friday, but, like, cool. It's... Whatever. <laughs> I just wanted the, to say that. The part. only thing I'd take away from Friday is they get in a car. And they hug. And they hug. Yeah. In his in his clothes. That's what it was. It, that's how I've taken it. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. it is what it is. The point is, she's doing all this work for a man who is still cheating on her. Which, yeah. Which. Because, like, how long is this actually going to work before he does go back to other girls? Because if he's obviously a serial cheater because, like, it's known they're doing all this. He flat out says that he does it. So, like, it's only going to work for so long before he does it again. And that's not even me being rude. He's literally admitting and saying that he cheats and he does this and he still talks to other girls. Yeah. So it's kind of like... Your wife kind of deserves better. Or if you really wanted something, maybe don't talk to other girls because she's putting in all this other effort in through your, like, weekends for you. I don't... Or through the week for you. I don't know. I feel bad for her. Yeah. All right. I think that, that is a wrap-up for our first video. Whoop, whoop. Um, well, what do you think of this? It's interesting. It's wild. I enjoy being able to talk to you and see your perspective. Yeah. A lady perspective? A lady perspective. I don't know, I feel like we agreed with all of them. Well, I really don't agree with a lot of these posts yeah. in a lot of things, and it's just like, why? Yeah. So this is good to at least be able to talk to somebody about it. Yeah, so. I get you. Alright, well, thank you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.